Well, good morning, everybody. Pastor Steve here. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion. We are in Luke chapter 6. As you're opening your Bible and getting your journal or notebook, let me just say I hope you had a great weekend, a great time in church Sunday, um, and that you're looking forward to this coming Sunday, which is Easter. We celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be praying for our services, for someone to be saved, and you be praying for your one. Invite people to Easter services with you. We have all three services this Sunday, 830, 945, 11 o'clock. We'll have extra chairs set up, have room for everybody. So that's this Sunday. All right, today we are in Luke chapter 6. And like the other chapters in Luke, there is a lot we could talk about. But what stood out to me and spoke to my heart were verses 27 and 28. So Luke 6, 27 and 28, where Jesus is speaking. And he says this, But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Now, let's read that again. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you. Wow. Not easy, is it? Not easy. Our culture could use a lot more of that. Jesus said as his followers, as his disciples, this is what we are to do. And often we'll talk about loving people that are hard to love, but how do you know you love them? Well, when you love them, you do good to them, you bless them, and you pray for them. You do good to them, you bless them, and you pray for them. It's easy to say, I love somebody. A lot harder to do good and to bless them when when they're not very lovable. But that's what Jesus says we're supposed (coughs) to do. And uh, here he says we're to do that with our enemies. And if we are to do, do that with our enemies, doesn't it, does it not make sense that we are to do that with our prodigal? I, you know, I spent three weeks last month preaching on how to help our prodigal children. Well, I think this is some good advice. And when you pray for them, pray for yourself that God will help you love your prodigal child, bless your prodigal child, do good to your prodigal child, and pray for your prodigal child. This same thing is a good thing for us to do with lost people. You know, sometimes we get mad at lost people for acting like lost people. But perhaps if we could apply the principle of these two verses that we love those who are lost, the people in my life who are making bad decisions, who are not followers of Christ yet, and who are lost, that if I would love them and I would do good to them, pray for them, and bless them, well, God might actually use me to reach them. So when Jesus talks here about doing things, these things for our enemies, let's apply these to our life and all other relationships. What about your spouse? Especially when you all are going through hard times or maybe you've had a disagreement or you're exhausted, that you love your spouse. Hi, how, how do you love your spouse? By doing good for them, blessing them, and praying for them. You've got a, a child that's going through a rebellious stage or a child that is struggling in life in some way. How do you, how do you love that child? By blessing them, doing good to them, and praying for them. You have a brother or a sister, an aunt or an, or a, an, an, a, an uncle. You, you have a parent that is getting on your nerves or disappointing you. How do you love them? Do good to them, bless them, and pray for them. You have a neighbor that's not easy to get along with. How do you love them? Pray for them, do good to them, bless them. You have a co-worker, a co-worker that's obnoxious, a co-worker that's not a team player. How do you love them as a disciple? You do good to them, you bless them, and you pray for them. Take these principles that Jesus gave us for how to love our enemies and apply them to all the relationships in our lives, and wow, how much better things will be. That's the word for today. I hope you'll do that. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.